Hello and welcome back to our Journeyman series on FIFA 16. In the last episode, we finished up, we won the title with Galway United. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you go back and check that out. Uh, so it was time to go and find ourselves a new job. Now, uh, I've done this in the background. What I did was uh, in June, before the, before the uh, end of the season changeover, uh, you tend to get a lot more job offers. So that's when you really need to go and look for your job. Uh, the jobs change daily. So if you're trying to attend this series at home, make sure you check daily uh, for new job opportunities. And uh, now I will reveal which team we will be taking on in the next season of this Journeyman Challenge. So Galway is done. Uh, the only player we can go and grab from Galway is Fabian Bush, our uh, youth squad, youth scout, catalog, future star. You know what I'm talking about. We can only go and grab him uh, if, if they're willing to give him up, um, depending how much money we have with our new club. Uh, but we're into group number two. So we had the option of picking a Scottish team, uh, a Norwegian team, or a Danish team. Uh, I can tell you right now that the team that we do have is Viborg FF. Uh, I'm not sure I've pronounced that correctly, but we're going to go with Viborg. Uh, they're commonly known as the Old Capital, I believe. Um, so we'll be taking a hold of them and that is our next challenge in this Journeyman series. We'll try and win the title with them and then we'll move on to group number three. But without further ado, let's get into this season. Right, so there's only 12 teams in this league. I'm not really familiar with most of them. Um, I'm not even sure who the best team in the league is. And some of these team names are gonna be really hard to pronounce, that is for sure. Uh, but let's go and see what our league objectives and that kind of stuff is. Right, so our league objective is to finish mid-table. Uh, hopefully we can uh, pull that one off. If we can pull a rabbit out of the hat and uh, knock this one off in one season, that would be amazing. But, you know, the squad's probably not the best if they're only asking for a mid-table finish. The season's budget is two and a half million uh, with 10,000 pounds. Now what I did is, because you get the changeover in June, uh, you actually get a chance to go out and spend that money real quick at the end, just setting yourself up. So I've gone out and got a couple of scouts. We'll go have a look at those shortly. And uh, that's why we've got a fresh start to the season. I feel it's probably the best way uh, to do it. So if we win this season this year, I'll probably try and grab another job just before the changeover once again. The Domestic Cup objective is to reach the quarterfinal. Uh, you know, there's only 12 teams, so we'll just have to see what we can do there. Let's go have a look at these scouts. Okay, so we've got uh, a three-star, two-star, a three-star, three-star, and a two-star, two-star. It's all I could afford with the cash at the time. They're out currently scouting. Um, what I did was, I've started going through, there's not a lot of countries available, you haven't really let Scott know enough countries. If you can go onto Twitter, if you have a Twitter account, go and hit up Scott, or hit up myself now, and just let us know what countries you would like us to scout. Other than that, I'm going to start going through the list from the old ones that were um, put forward, and uh, we'll just work it from there. So those scout reports should be back sometime this month. Alright, let's have a quick look at the squad we've got to work with at the moment. We've got a 66 forward in Debele. Uh, Akaras is a 63 left mid, a center forward 69, Rukavina, he could be handy. Camp is a 65. Um, so yeah, some good average 60s there. A 59 right back we'll probably have to do something about. Uh, any good bench cover. It's all 60s, so that's kind of handy. And we've actually got one person in here already. Um, that's cool, let's have a look at him. And he looks pretty average at the moment from Denmark. High, high attack work rates. Hopefully he can grow a little bit this season. Uh, but what I'm going to concentrate on is trying to find us a goalkeeper. Obviously, that's the quickest way to level up and, and work your defense. And um, maybe a right back and some center mids to set this team up flying for this season. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I've got Fabian Bush on the, tra the short list. I've already sent an offer for him off straight away. And uh, we'll see what they come back. They valued at him at 650. If we don't get him this season, I'm not too worried about that because he may receive one of those little May bumps uh, that's been going on in FIFA 16. So either way, I'm pretty happy to either pick him up now because he'll slot into this team as a 64, or if not, he can sit at Galway for another season and we can try and pick him up a little bit later down the track. Now I've gone out, there's a few free agents. Obviously they're the only ones we're allowed to pick up. Um, I've sent the scouts out to scout them. They'll come back shortly. And we're in the middle of the transfer window, obviously. So let's see if we can stock this team up and get ready for this season. All right, so I've just put in a cheeky bid here um, to grab Bush and swap him for Rakovina. No cash. Um, and they've said, yeah, no worries. So Fabian Bush is going to come straight over with us. Loves to play with us. 
and uh, we'll give him an important first team player. All right, so our monthly scouting reports are back, and we've gone to China where Dong Wang Zhu is a 55 to 71. We're going to reject him. Kai Wen is a 63 reject. Uh, Shen Cheng is a 68 reject, and Shin Li, 67 to 91. We will scout further. All right, here we go. Denmark, we've got Jonas Jakobsen, 68 to 92 overall, 43 to 57. I feel I should probably scout him for another month, um, but the fact that we don't have anyone in the youth academy at the moment means we're going to bring him in. Uh, Leon Egeris is a midfielder, 67 to 85, defensively minded. We'll scout him further. Oliver Jensen is a 59 to 79. We'll reject, and we missed out on, oh, Leon Johansson. He would have been very, very nice, but unfortunately, we've missed out on him. Okay, we went back to Canada. Scott McMulkin's homeland, uh, a 79, an 85 goalkeeper, an 85 goalkeeper, a 71 to 94 in Windrill, Manella, and uh, Will Haber is a 65 to 85. I'm going to I'm going to grab Manella and the other ones will leave there for now. So Fabian Bush has accepted his contract and he's going to come into the club. Right, so uh, the Danish league, we're straight into the games here in July. So um, we've got Randers. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one. And is that Copenhagen? Um, we'll take them on at the end of the month and uh, see if we can pick up some free agents before then. All right, the first free agent we're going to pick up is uh, Alejandro Cantero Puente, a 70 overall right winger. He wants 20 grand, uh, but we're only signing free agents, so all of that money that we had, we've flipped over to wages, and we're going to get him in. He's going to really bolster this squad up. There's also a 64 goalkeeper in such a boy, a 64, 19 year old. Yeah, he's going to be the best keeper at the club already. So we'll get him in as well. All right, Peter Frist Jensen is going to be leaving for 220. All right, the next acquisition is Dan Justham, uh, a 68 overall centre back. He's only five foot seven, but he's got some pretty decent skills for an 18 year old. Uh, so we're going to bring him into the club. All right, so Peter Frist Jensen has gone. Uh, a bit more money into our kitty. All right, here we go. First Hi, game of the Welcome new team, the new season. For you today oh, from the Super League. Vibor. Smith has joined me, Martin Tyler, to describe what it for is we in stall for? New players out on the pitch. That we've picked up from the free agency, so it'd be good to give them a little bit of a run. Sasha Boy, great name for our goalkeeper. And Bush is in here. Haven't given him the captain's armband yet, uh, but he may take that very, very shortly. Here's our starting lineup. So the, the new acquisition straight away Just Ham, uh, Cantera Punte. Uh, Bush, of course, and Sasha Boy. Let's see if they can turn this team into a fucking fortress. There we go, there we go. Spanish, English. Let's get this Vibor team fucking cranking. He's just taking them on. He doesn't care. Oh, taken down in the box, and have they called the pen? Or was it on the edge of the box? I'm not too sure. It's going to come out yellow card here early on in this game. And it's a free kick, and it is Contero Puente from 24 yards out. I'm not sure he's, how good he is at free kicks, but we'll just try and clear this wall and see what happens. And he doesn't have the curl on it, and it's still nil all. Oh, just hand. There he is. Great challenge straight away. And here's Bush. And he slots it forward, and this is Debele. Has he got any pace? We'll soon find out. He cuts back inside nicely. It's Debele into the box. He's going to shoot straight at the keeper. Busk. He goes back out, gets it, passes it off to Contero Puente, who crosses to the back post. Oh, he's just about fucking scored an own goal. And they come away. There we go. Some attack here from Viborg. Oh, that's going to be a free kick, but Laraga plays on. What's he going to do here? Feeds it out wide. Puente. Makes his way around. He's trying. Thorinson. Looking for a pass inside. He finds Puente again. He skips around the defender. Holds on to the ball. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, picked off at the last second by Augustinson. Oh, good challenge from Thorinson. Can he whip this in in? It's out wide. It's Bush. No, it wasn't. There's Jorgensen making a push down the outside. And Villamate. Veldmate. Veldmate has done well there. He's the skipper at the moment. So, uh, see how long he holds on to that armband. And half time, it is nil all. So we've, yeah, we've had a couple opportunities, but uh, you no, know, just getting a feel for the team. Fabian Bush to deliver this corner in. It's in a good area. Good punch from the goalkeeper. Oh, it's cleared everyone. Justin's back there, though. He figs it off to Witcham, who has a red hot crack. Oh, and a good save from the keeper. Well, the long bomb came in. 
So he's worked the keeper and we've got another corner. Kolaraja comes inside, oh, runs into a brick wall and that looks like it's a pen, it is, they fucking called it. Just ran straight in and fucking went down quicker than a $2 hooker. Look at this, just bang, oh, no, nah, fuck this, I'm hitting the dirt and down he goes and we get a pen, that's a bit soft. And it's going to be the Mohican here in Debele. To step up, we're going to go left with this one and he knocks it home. It's 1 0 to Bobble! The striker stood, for, stood tall, should I say, and just smacked it home. And it's 1 0. Let's do this. Quick throw in, Witcham off the bush. Turns his man inside out. Oh, take it down again. Referee, open your eyes. And that is fucking play on, he reckons. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front. Here they come. Here comes the ball inside and straight past Sasha Boy. And it's one all. Well, we've got some defensive issues here to deal with. Don't you fucking come up to the camera. Fuck off, mate. Fucking 10 minutes to go. They just fucking worked it down the right hand side. Too fucking easy, that one. Just really, really pulled everyone out of position and some pretty poor marking there from the defensive line. They were calling for offside. Just fucking play the game and then worry about the offside after. And it's one all. Trying to get the challenge in, it doesn't matter. He just strolls into the box. No one going for him. Sasha Boy with the save. Paulson gets a touch. And it's going to be a corner. And they have turned it on here since the 80th minute tick over. They've scored a one already, and they have been hunting for a second almost instantly. Here comes the ball in. Anderson just feeds it off, and here's Puente. Bush feeds this one forward, and here's Kurth. He's just come on. Can he set something up here? He's going to slide it over. Roma feeds it forward. Where's Bush? Oh, just had no legs left. He's absolutely spent here in the 90th minute. Oh, Kurth's gone back in to get it, though. Come on, someone stand tall. Someone do something. Witcham, Roma, can he feed it forward? No, he can't. Good challenge from behind, and that's it, full time. Uh, one goal apiece. Well, we let the fucking door open there with 10 minutes to go. They fucking scored, and we could not get back up in front. Six shots to three, pretty even possession. They had 15 fucking tackles on us. Aggressive. Uh, Debele, Deble, Serge Deble. That's what we'll roll with, 7.2. All right, I've got a 66 center forward here in Luca Girico. Uh, he can come in and another forward for us, which is good. And we've got a youth squad monthly report. Now we've got Jonas Jakobsen, 49 overall, 71 to 91. And Windrill Manella, uh, 72 to 92, 50 overall. Right, so the, only the three games in July. We start off with a 3-0 loss at home. We won 1-0 away. And then obviously the one-all draw. So that's July. Uh, if we look at August, we've got another four games here already. Uh, fuck knows what that team is. And they're called something. And we don't know who they are. And I think they're a pretty good team. No fucking idea about this league. But we'll find out as we move through it. Transfer window is still open for another month. Let's see if we can bring some more players in to strengthen up this team. All right, final youth scout reports here. And then we'll go to the list and uh, send the lads out again. We've got Bing Deng Zhao, a 65 to 89. Uh, why not? A uh, 65 reject, a 74 reject, a 66 reject, and Shin Lee, 72 to 92, let's get him in. All right, Denmark, okay, you're a 79, we'll reject you, a 67, and a 71 to 94, Nikolai uh, Abdulgard. All right, come on, son. And Canada, what have we got? 63, a 66 to 90, and Lewis Haber. Uh, let's see what else we've got here, because we only really want one more goalkeeper. Uh, will Haber or Haber? Oh, two Havers. The Haver brothers. Six foot three, six foot two. One's got better jumping. This one's got better reactions. Oh, we'll sign them both up. Bugger it. All right, let's send some players out now. We've got a country on the list here, and it is Norway. Uh, so we're off to Norway. Where are you, Norway? I'm going to search for a physically strong player anyway, because we need some defenders. And then we're going to go back to Ireland now. Uh, we'll search for any player, and we'll send Lewis Walsh up to Sweden. Three months for any. All right, so four games. I'll just play this one towards the end of the month. Um, we'll see you shortly. All right, there's a young kid here in William Dos Santos. He's only a 53 overall striker at 17 years of age, but he's got pretty good physicals. Uh, so he, don't, he only wants 2-2. Two, two. 
Um, just a little bit of extra backup. Maybe we can train him a little bit and, uh, you know, might help the club out in the future, even if we're not with them. All right, a 60 grand offer here for Sebastian Denius. I'm going to accept that because, you know, we're going to get better players than that for sure. All right, so Jeppe Kurth has gone to uh, Bromby for 200. And we've also sold off Dennis for 60 grand. All right, player sold. Soren Reese has gone to Doncaster for 150 grand. All right, I've also picked up a 64 overall CDM just to strengthen that midfield up a bit. He is 23, um, but yeah, he should be all right. Florin Stoyan, welcome to the club. All right, I was going to play this match, but with all the uh, transfer stuff, this is going to be an incredibly long episode anyway. So we'll just do a live sim here. And uh, Cantero Puente has put one in in the first fucking minute to give us a 1-0 lead. Uh, as we carry through to half time. Let's see if we can stick it. We're sitting at home, so hopefully we're strong enough here to uh, pick up the points in this one. A couple of changes made. Deble comes on for Diorico. Roma on. Anderson on. And yes, Deble scores and makes it 2 0, so three points there for Vibog. All right, we sold Jonas Camper off to Bromby for 230. All right, found another striker here in Felipe de Oliviero Filo. A 60 overall, 20 years of age. He's got pretty decent physicals as well. Just trying to bolster up some of these uh, young kids from the free agency list that can sit in the club, grow, and uh, hopefully help the team out in the future once we move on. Also, Manuel Miguel Serrano, a 63 centre back at 19 years of age. He's going to come into the club. And we've sold uh, Baba DJ Ogan Jibiji to Kilmanock for 130. He was a 30-year-old centre back uh, with a 60 rating. So we've sort of brought in the young kid that's got a higher rating to take care of him. So I'm being smart about this. All right, another centre back into the club. Uh, Lorenzo DeMarco, 61 overall. All right, let's have a look. This will be the final youth squad report. Uh, we've just finished the transfer window, so that's it shut. Uh, let's wrap up this episode nice and quickly. Bing D. Jow is a 73 to 93. Jakobsen, a 71 to 87. He's dropped off a bit. Lewis Haber is a 73 to 93. Uh, Abdegard is a 67 to 87 left back. Well, we probably do need a left back, so yeah, hold on to him. Shin Lee, 72 to 88. Uh, Manella is a 70 to 86. I'm going to release him. And Will Haber, 73 to 87. So we've got the Haber brothers here, but Will, you're going to not make the cut. Okay, so we just signed Lorenzo DeMarco on the final day of the transfer window. He's probably been at the club for about 12 hours. He's gone and done himself a medial collateral ligament, and he's gone for three months. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck's sake. Lucky he's not our main centre-back, but jeez, mate. 12 hours and you fucking knock yourself out and fuck something up. That's ridiculous. All right, I guess as considering it is a new club, a new season and all that, we better do a quick squad report and have a look at some of these statuses. Now, Sasha Boys is 65. He's gone up one. We've already started training him. Jonas Thornton is a 59. And right back is very much an issue that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, there's nothing on the free agency list at the moment, so we'll be relying on some youth to come through very quickly. Dan Justham, who we just picked up, he is showing great potential. He's a 68 overall. He has increased because he did drop down to 67 when we signed him up. That's what happens for some reason. But look at those physicals. Absolutely amazing. Uh, he's not the tallest lad. He's only 5'7 with a low and medium work rate. But uh, he should fill this team in just fine. And with those physical traits, we may be able to move him out to the right back position or something if required. Uh, Jerome Veldmat, his contract's expiring. We don't give a fuck about that. But 68 gone up 1. Uh, Christopher Paulson at 63 has gone down one. He's retiring at the end of the season. So left back and right back are the two main issues for this team at the moment. Florian Stoyan, uh, we've picked him up. I knew his rating was probably not the highest. Uh, but what I can do is I don't like training the young kids as they come in. So someone like this where I can just pump some training into them and give them a bit of a boost uh, is more worthwhile with their age. Alejandro Cantiero Puente. Uh, he doesn't have a rating, but he's already a 70, and he's got some amazing stats. We're not training him. He's growing a little bit, uh, so he's very handy for this team. Lucas Laraga, 63, gone up one. Uh, he's pretty average. Osama Akarez is a 63, left mid. Uh, he's growing, so that's all right. Fabian Bush, he's very unhappy for some reason, but we'll soon find out. 65, gone up one, growing on his own. We're not training him, obviously. Uh, Luca Giorico is a 66 at center forward, showing great potential. Some pretty good physical stats there. Um, Mikkel Rask is 64 overall. He's 34, so he's on the decline. Manuel Miquel Serrano is 64. He's already gone up one. We only just signed him the other day. Well, that's nice. Uh, let's hope he grows into something good. Sebastian John, a 59, gone up one. Marcel Roma is a 60. 
Sebastian Anderson is a 63. He's got some pretty good physicals. Uh, Serge Debele is a 66 overall. He's got great physicals. Christian Sivbeck, 63, gone up one. Uh, Felipe de Oliveira Filo is a 61. He's already gone up one, so that's good. Uh, Lorenzo DeMarco is a 61. He's just done his fucking medial collateral ligament. Uh, he did have good physicals, but uh, they may go on the back burner. Uh, Malte Boge, he was already at the club. 51, gone up three. Uh, William Dos Santos is a 54, gone up one. The young kid that I signed up earlier who had some pretty decent physicals, so we'll see what he turns into. Alaji Gero is a 60 overall. Christopher Pelson of 58, gone up one. Uh, Jeppa Groening is a 60. Jeff Mensah is a 60, gone up one. Jakob Ergeris is a 60. So a lot of 60s around here. Matthias Witcham is a 62. And uh, Groening in physicals, that's pretty decent at 26. And that is the full squad at the moment. I'm looking at, there's a couple more free agents. I'm just waiting for the scout reports to come back and all that sort of shit. So we may get some more acquisitions because you can sign free agents any time of the year. We'll just have to wait and see, and hopefully this team can start building. Let's go have a look at where we're sitting on the ladder. Okay, so we're sitting four, three wins, two losses, two draws uh, on 11 points. So not too bad, considering we're only looking for a mid-table finish. Whoops. And, uh, you know, if we can continue this on, you know, I can't see us taking out the title this year unless some of these kids really stand up and grow quickly. But I think the acquisitions we've made so far it's really going to set us up for this season and possibly we'll be here for another season. Not too sure. Obviously, if we can move on, that would be great. Uh, but we won't count our chickens before they hatch. But that's all we've got time for you today. Hopefully, you've enjoyed that one. It's been a bit long-winded. It always is when there's a lot of transfer stuff. Uh, but we're set up now to get cracking in this series once again. And we'll see you next time. I'm Spiro DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one.